one's fault, but like if you haven't lived it, it's just a very difficult thing for someone I think to understand. And then, you know, add all of the extra circumstances you had on top of it, it's just complicated. And so I do think kind of starting to let myself feel however I should feel. I think there's a lot of me, you feel guilt for wanting to cry or be sad because it's like, I don't want to say things are perfect now because they're not, but there is so much to be grateful for and happy for. But I also think there is a mourning of experiences you thought you may have had. You know, I mean, usually you, you picture your birth of your child or the first, you know, few months or a year in a, in a certain way, just like you imagine your wedding, right? You know, you, you kind of have this picture and, and it's changed. It's not that way. It's a continuous problem. And I don't think you're ever done probably um, processing it or feeling it. I think a lot of patients and caregivers will go through phases of, you know, times where they're maybe triggered by something 